Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan, and you're watching on Al Red Sox Fan YouTube stations as we're coming up on the fourth quarter of this battle between the 1965 Cleveland Browns and the 2015 Denver Broncos. Hope all is well. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Some quick shout outs to the channel. Friends of the channel, Phil the Issues Guy. He does wonderful movie and TV reviews, such as for Game of Thrones, Vikings, Better Call Saul, and Walking Dead. His gaming channel, Dirty Issues, with John Riley and Joe Dirty Locks. Joe Dirty Locks also is the co host for Phil the Issues Guy. And Broke Black Man 94 does wonderful monologues regarding TV shows. And movies such as Gotham. Ron Juckett, online baseball sports writer. Again, wonderful monologues regarding baseball and other issues. Um, does a great job. He also has Retro Sports Network where he, do, where he does retro gaming. And does wonderful commentary. He just did a wonderful thing on Brent Musburger. And he replayed the, I believe it was the 1986 or 87 NCAA championship game between Syracuse and Indiana. I just watched it. It was absolutely marvelous. Check him out. Mosley Boxing is a must-subscribe if you're a boxing fan. Does wonderful video collages of past and present fighters and boxing events. Mosley Boxing. John the, Ir John the Irish Wildling does a lot of discussion about Game of Thrones, but it's not just that. He discusses everything on his channel. Nothing is off the table. He'll make you think, he'll make you laugh, and sometimes he'll make you mad, but I highly recommend Johnny the Irish Wildling. I call him the king. I love him. And then you have JD, who is an author, just like Johnny the Irish Wildling. Uh, they're both writing books, and they share it with him. But JD likes to share his book and other books, and he's also a big Game of Thrones fan. All the links are provided below for these stations. I highly recommend them. They're good people, excellent content. All righty, now to the fourth quarter here of this battle. So after three quarters of play, the 65 Browns are leading the th 2015 Broncos 17-6, to and it's been a big game for Jimmy Brown. Let's quickly go over some stats here. Just going to go over the Jim Brown stats. And then get back to the game. Jim Brown has 18 carries, 168 yards. He's averaging 9.3 yards a carry. And I'll leave this up for a second so you can see all the stats. Uh, but And he's being complimented very nicely by Ernie Green, who has 11 carries, 47 yards. He's averaging 4.3 yards a carry. So, all right. Now let's get back to the game. The Browns are driving. Currently, their drive is six plays, 54 yards. They've, they, this drive has taken four minutes and 55 seconds. And the ball is on the Denver 12-yard line, second and five, as they're wearing down this very good Denver defense. Uh, we've give, given Jim Brown a rest here. Let's see if at the end of the quarter, yes, we can bring Jim Brown back in. Excellent. So we have second and five. Kick a field goal. That wouldn't be bad either, but let's get the touchdown here. Should I get cute and go play action fake? No, I'm not going to do it, even though I want to do it. We're going to go run counter. Ernie Green. Pitch left. Here comes the blitz. He pitches it out to Green. He's got running room. First down. So we beat the blitz once again with a pitch left to Ernie Green. The counter pitch left to Ernie Green. Picks up nine yards first and goal from the Denver three. We've beaten that blitz quite a few times with a pitch left. Awesome. Tackle by Brandon Marshall. That's his fourth tackle for Denver. And we're going to just slow this down. We will take our time. A field goal from here is a 99% chance of success for Luke Rosa. All right. First and goal from the three. And we're going to once again go run counter. Ernie Green. 
you guessed it, pitch left. There it is. There's the pitch to Green. Touchdown! So once again, the pitch to Ernie Green. He scores from three, yard, three yards out. He has 13 carries, 59 yards, and a touchdown. So Denver was in a 4-3 basic goal line tight man. We were able to get to the outside with Ernie Green. And six points are up on the board for the 1965 Cleveland Browns, who now lead the Broncos 23-6 and await the Groza extra point. There's the extra point, and it's good. So with 3.59 to go in the game, the Cleveland Browns 24, the 2015 Denver Broncos 6. Cleveland will kick deep. Broncos, once again, will have Deep Bolden, Shortman Caldwell, and Norwood. There's the kick. Bolden on the return. He has some room. Brings it out past the 30, 25 yards. No penalty flags on the play. So Denver will start first and 10 on their 31-yard line. As they're going to come out throwing, I believe. Uh, they have four wideouts. Manning in the shotgun and C.J. Anderson behind him. So we're going to go with a 4-1 dime. The Browns are. We're going to play zone. Defensive line out. We're going to send Houston. Play pass. There's a snap. Manning back. He's looking to throw the ball. Here comes the pressure. He lets it fly. Incomplete pass. That was tipped by Parrish. So Bernie Parrish deflects that ball away from Demarius Thomas as they were looking the fly pattern with the four wide receivers. So it's second and ten. Ball on the Denver 31-yard line. Four wide outs. Manning and shotgun. Anderson behind him. Browns are in a 4-1 dime. They're going to send Houston again. Actually, let's make sure. Yep, we got Parrish on Thomas. Um, I'm going to play defensive line. Out. Pass. Here comes the pass. First Manning tries to get rid of it, but he feels the pressure. That's incomplete. It's a pretty good pa pass rush there as Houston came on the blitz as Manning was not able to connect up on the medium slant. Third and ten. Let's make sure we have Parrish on Thomas. We do. We're going to play a deeper zone. Keep everything in front of us. We're going to play our defensive line in. And we're going to send Houston again. Here's play pass. Houston on the blitz. They pick it up. Here goes Manning with the throw. Incomplete pass. The medium fly to Sanders falls to the ground. It's incomplete. Fourth and ten. The Broncos are going to have to punt with 13 minutes and 34 seconds left in this game. Peyton Manning's now 8 for 18. 96 yards in an interception. Once again, 2015 his last year was not a stellar year for Peyton Manning. If you recall, he got benched. Um, they did win the Super Bowl, but it was not a stellar year with Peyton Manning. So we'll have the punt return on and the dangerous Leroy Kelly back. There's the punt. That's a fair catch. So Roberts was back for the Browns there. and He signals for a fair catch. Probably not a bad thing is Kelly, even though he's had a punt, 72 yard punt return for a touchdown, has fumbled twice when he's been in the backfield. All right, first and 10, ball on the Cleveland 26 yard line. Ryan at quarterback, split backfield of brown and green, two wideouts, one tight end. Broncos look like they're in a 4 3. And we're going to go green. Hold on a second. We're going to go run counter. Green. Oh, let's go pitch left one more time. Ball pitch left. Green bust through for four yards. Tackled by Ward. 
So it's going to be second and six ball in the Cleveland 30, and we're going to just slow things down here as the Browns will take their time. That was Ward's third tackle of the game. Frank Ryan's passing is 7 for 16 for 75 yards. His play calling has been quite efficient. Uh, the stars of the game are Jim Brown and Ernie Green, the starting backfield for the Cleveland Browns, and also on special teams, Leroy Kelly, that punt return of 72 yards for a touchdown. Second and six. Jim Brown. Trap left. Ball's given to Brown. And he's smothered up at the line of scrimmage for only a one-yard gain. That's been the best stop so far for Denver on Jim Brown, as he now has 19 rushes for 169 yards and a touchdown. Brings up third and five. Third and five. So we're going to put Brown out wide. And we're going to go green. Pitch left. There's the pitch to Ernie Green, but this time he can't get around the blitz. And that's a four-yard loss. As it was not a blitz. They were in a normal zone, but they looked like a blitz because they broke right through the Cleveland Browns line for the first time. And that pitch left was stopped. Four-yard loss tackled by Brandon Marshall. So we'll come out of the slowdown. We will punt back to Denver. As the wide receiver, Gary Collins, is also their punter. And he averages 54.1 yards on the punt as we're going to punt deep with Gary Collins. There's the punt. It's a very good punt. And that's a fair catch. So it's a 50-yard punt. Sanders signaled for the fair catch, and the Broncos will start first and 10 on their 23. So Gary Collins does a marvelous job there on the punt. I believe that the, that was the Browns' first punt. Broncos come out with four wideouts, Manning and Shotgun. Anderson behind him. Browns are counter with their 4-1 dime. Make sure Parrish on Thomas. We're going to play zone. We're going to play pass. Manning with the ball. He's looking to throw. And that's caught. Houston with the tackle. Thomas on the short cross. Pick up a six. That's Jim Houston's third tackle of the game. Second and four balls on the Denver 29. We're going to stay with the 4-1. We're going to play zone. Going to shift our defensive line. Where's Wiggins? Paul Wiggins. We're going to shift left. And we're going to send Houston. And we're going to play pass. Here it is. Oh, Hill, Hill. Anderson goes right by the blitzing Houston. Grabbing the face mask. Defense. Number oh. 30, 15 yard penalty, automatic, first down. So that's going to be tacked on at the end of the play, I believe. As Anderson went right by the blitzing Houston, picked up five yards in the first down, plus I believe another 15 yards, as it will be, as Denver is first and 10 on the Denver 49 yard line. So this game's not over yet, folks. Stay tuned. All right, first and 10. We'll stay in zone. I want to do the same. We're going to shift our line left. We're sending. Do we have another? We're going to bring Fiss in because we're going to send him on the rush anyway. We have Houston a breather for a moment. So we're going to send Fiss on the blitz. And we're going to play pass. There goes Fiss. Oh, there's a draw. And he smothers up Anderson. Was that a draw? Yes, shotgun draw. And the newly arriving Galen Fisk 
makes the tackle. So good call by the defensive coordinator there. Brings up a second and 13. We will keep fists on the field to once again give Houston a breather. Second and 13 on the Denver 46-yard line. I'm going to play zone. Fists on the blitz. Going to left. Our defensive line shifts left. You're going to play pass. <coughs> Manning looking to set up Anderson on the screen. It's complete, and they pick up nine yards on the play. There was a flag on the play, but the officials converse, and they pick it up. Tackle made by Larry Bentz. That's his first tackle of the game. So that brings up a very manageable third and four for the Denver Broncos and Peyton Manning as once again he's in shotgun Anderson behind him for wide outs. We're going to play a short zone. We're going to shift right. We're going to send fists once again on the blitz. We're going to play pass. Oh, I hate when the computer does that. So we're going to play short zone. Galen Fiss on the blitz. That's a funny last name, Fiss. Have to be careful saying that. Um, and we're going to play pass. Hot! Mandy back to pass. Quick hitter, incomplete. Barnes knocks it out of the air. So that short curl to flower was broken up by Eric Barnes. That's his third bat away. And brings up... Fourth and four with 9.06 to go in the game. And the Broncos trailing Cleveland 24 to 6. They have to go for it. Manning and shotgun four wideouts. Anderson behind him. Um, we're going to bring Houston back in the game. As Fitz had some really nice plays there. He spotted Houston, but Houston's back in. Going to play a short zone. Make sure that we have Parrish on Thomas. We do. We're going to send Houston on the blitz. Here it comes. Hot, hot. Play pass. Ah. Quick hitter. Incomplete. Benz tips it away again. And turnover on downs. Cleveland takes over on their 45. Excellent defensive stand by the 1965 Cleveland Browns as they lead. The 2015 Denver Broncos 24-6 and now have the ball. Larry Benz deflects that ball away on fourth down. So we have Ryan at quarterback. Split backfield of brown and green. Two wideouts, one tight end. We're going to go Jim Brown. Dive. There's Jimmy Brown, and he is smothered at the line of scrimmage and only can gain one yard. Bring up a second and nine as they are keying the run. Brown has 20 carries for 170 yards and a touchdown. Cleveland goes into the slowdown offense. Second and nine. Green screen. Hot! Ryan back to pass, looking to set up green on the screen. Green catches it, and he picks up seven yards. Tackle by Shaquille Barrett. Tackle number five on the game for Barrett. As it's now third and two, eight minutes and one second to go in this ball game. Denver needs to make a stop here. And then they need to score a couple of times. So it's third and two. We're going to go run counter. Green. Trap right. Here's Green. And he's smothered up for no gain. As we were hoping that they were going to key on Jimmy Brown there. And we try to go run counter. But Denver sniffed it out. So fourth and two. And 
the Broncos trailing by 18 points. Did I do my math correctly? I did do my math correctly, right? Yes, I did. Oh, I want to go for it, but I'm not going to. So, uh, this will be the Browns' second punt of the game. As Gary Collins, the wide receiver, is also their starting punter. He had a 50-yard punt on his first one. We'll be punting uh, to Sanders. Here's the punt. <coughs> Collins with the punt. Sanders lets it go into the end zone. It'll be a touchback, so a 47-yard punt will come out to the 20-yard line. First and 10 for the Broncos. As they're going to, I think they're going to probably go into a hurry up here. So we're going to play our 4-1 dime. We'll keep everything in front of us. We're going to play a zone. Manning's under center. Anderson's behind him. Four wide outs. We're going to play our line in. We're not going to send a blitzer. We're going to play pass. Ball's given to Anderson, and he picks up about five yards. Yep, five yards on the trap left inside. Jim Kanicki brings him down. That's his second tackle. Clock is running with 6.36 to go in the game. Second and five. We're going to play zone. And we're going to play pass. <coughs> Quick hitter. Incomplete. Tight coverage by Barnes as he was trying to... Um, I think he was going to... Oh, he was going to Norwood on that. All right, third and five. 621 to go in the game. Clock stopped on the incomplete pass. Manning and shotgun. Anderson behind him. Yep. Four wide outs. Cleveland's in a 4-1 dime. We're going to send Houston on this play. We're going to play a short zone. We're going to play our defensive line normal. And pass. Oh, Houston with the sack. Oh, he just got sack number four. Five sides. Offense. Number 69. Five-yard penalty. All right, so the offense was offside. We're going to decline that. And that brings up fourth and 12. Let's just go back over that Houston sack. That's his second sack of the day. Um, he just blew that up. And the Broncos are going to punt with 6.17 to go in the game and down 18. Leroy Kelly is a deep man, I believe. Here's the punt. Here comes the return. Oh, it's Roberts is a deep man. So a 46-yard punt with a 6-yard return by Roberts. Cleveland will start off this drive with 6.11 to go in the game on their 42-yard line. Jim Brown has three receptions for 41 yards. Little note here. There's Roberts on the return there. All right. First and ten. Jim Brown. Off tackle left. Hut, hut. Ball's given to Brown. That's going to pick up about three. Nope, a gain of two. Tackle by Wolf. That's Derek Wolf's fifth tackle. As we're just going to, the Browns will continue to slow things down here. 6.01 left to go in the game. Going to go Ernie Green. Dive. Ball's going to Green. That opening closed quick, and he's only able to pick up two yards there. I'll bring up third and six. Tackle once again by Derek Wolf. Tackle number six. Ernie Green now has 17 carries for 61 yards and a touchdown. 5.15 to go in the game. Let's go Ryan. See, if we were playing 1965 rules, there's no spiking, kneeling of the ball. So I kind of like that we're playing the modern rules. Let's go Ryan. He's got a 14.8% chance of fumbling. Let's not do that then. Let's go Collins. Special plays reverse. Fake reverse. 
Let's go fake reverse Jim Brown. <laughs> fake reverse balls him to Brown, and he's got the first down. So that play worked marvelously. Oh, great play call by the offensive coordinator. Oh, but as I say that, Ryan is getting up slowly. He's shaken, and he's going to be out this game plus two weeks, so they will be playing with their backup quarterback. Oh, God. So who is in at quarterback now? Jim Niowowski. Clock is running. Well, no, the clock stopped. I'm sorry for the Ryan injury. Brown now has 22 carries for 188 yards. So the Brown sweep left worked to perfection as they faked the reverse to Collins. And we're going to take... Though I don't think Jim Brown was ever hurt in his career, to be honest with you. We're going to take Jim Brown out of the game. And we're going to bring in Leroy Kelly, the fumble machine. And we're going to take Ernie Green out of the game. We're going to bring in Scales. And we don't want to lose Collins. We're going to take him out of the game. And we're going to bring in Warfield. We're going to take Roberts out of the game. And we're bringing McNeil. So we're going to go scales, dive. Ball's given to scales. He goes up the middle for about four yards. Oh, he fumbled the ball. Oh, God. Cleveland recovers. So that's a gain of four. My God, if it's anyone besides Brown and Green, they just put the, the ball right on the ground. That's... The Browns' third fumble. Thank God they've recovered two of them. As Von Miller stripped the ball out, there was a scramble for the ball, but Wooten recovered it for Cleveland. And they maintain possession. Brings up a second and six. They're going to go to the slowdown offense. As we, the Cleveland's lost Ryan for today in the next two games, so that's going to be tough for the 65 Browns to win those games. All right. I don't want Leroy. Oh, we have to have Leroy Kelly in. That's right. All right. Well, let's hopefully Kelly. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do run safe. That means two hands on the ball. Kelly, dive. Ball's in. The Kelly's protecting the ball, and he's smothered for no gain. Von Miller on the tackle. It's tackle number five for Von Miller. As the clock, clock ticks down to 328 left to go in this game. Third and six. As we're going to go Leroy Kelly. Trap left. There goes Kelly. Back to the line of scrimmage. Two hands on the ball. No gain. Clock gets down to 244. Fourth and six ball in the Denver 34-yard line. 244 clocks running. Field goal attempt here. 26 chance of Groza making the field goal from here, so we're not going to do that. We're not going to punt either from the 34. So we're going to we're going to see if if we take the run safe off if Leroy Kelly um, can hold on to the ball here. So we're going to Leroy Kelly power sweep right. Yes. Here's a sweep by Kelly. And he's smothered behind the line of scrimmage for a two-yard loss, and that brings us to the two-minute warning. So the good news is, even though it was a two-yard loss, was Leroy Kelly didn't fumble the ball. So 156 to go in the game here. And we're going to go to our blowout defense. To make sure none of our starters hopefully get hurt. We're playing a deep zone. Manning has four wideouts. Anderson behind him. He's going to pick up some stats now in garbage time. We don't care who's covering who. Actually, who's covering... Oh, my God, Franklin. We got to put... Is this guy better? We're all four. Larry Bentz. All right, we'll put Bentz on Thomas. Not that it matters. We're going to play a deep zone. And...
We can't play a blowout. Oh, well, I don't want them to just chew us up and spit us out. A 4-1 dime. We should be able to play it. I probably don't have enough cornerbacks, that's why. All right, so that's what we're going to do. They want to keep Manning in the game. I'm going to have Houston try to knock him out of the game with a blitz. And we're going to play a deep zone pass. Fun! Here comes Houston and his sack number three. If you want to, if you want to do that, they're not going to call a timeout. That's Houston's third sack. You know what? If you want to sit there and throw the ball, I'm going to try to knock your starting quarterback out of the game. Clock is running. Oh, they stopped the clock. Okay. Second and 19. Deep zone. We're going to send Houston again. Pass. Manning to throw a ball. Incomplete. As he was looking for Sanders. No, caught. It was caught. I thought that was, it looked incomplete on the video, but it says it was a 15-yard gain for Sanders. Brings up third and four. The clock stops with Sanders going out of bounds. Play short zone. Going to send Houston. Shift right. Pass. And back to pass. Fires the ball. And that ball is incomplete. Tipped by Franklin. So that's Bobby Franklin's first deflection. And that's going to bring up a fourth and four. Ball on the Denver 42-yard line. A minute 24 to go here in this game. As it is out of hand. As the Browns are leading the Broncos 24 to 6. We're going to play short zone. I'm not going to give him this first down. And we're going to play our defensive line left. And we're going to take Fist out of the game. I mean, Houston, we're going to bring Fist in the game. He's going to blitz, and we're going to play pass. Here comes Fist. They pick up the blitz quick. Out, gain of five, first and ten, ball on the 47, Parrish on the tackle, so a quick five yard out to Norwood. Once again, Manning and shotgun, four wide outs. We'll play a deep zone here, we're going to send Galen Fist on the blitz, we're going to play pass. Here comes the blitz, they pick it up, here's the pass. 15 yard gain. Another 15-yard completion of Sanders. As I stated, Manning's going to pad his stats in garbage time here. First and 10. Ball in the Cleveland 38. Minute 9 to go. We're going to put... We're actually going to cover the outs. Um, and we're going to put our defensive line to the outs. And we're going to send Fist. We're going to play a normal zone, and we're going to play pass. Pick up the blitz once again. Manning fires the ball, but he incomplete as he dumped down. He was looking to dump it down to Anderson. Minute two to go in this game. Deep zone, second ten. Player line in. We're going to send... Fist on the blitz. Cover the outs. Pass. Here comes Fist. Manning under pressure. Dumps it down to Anderson. He's tackled after a four-yard gain by Ross Finchner. That's his second tackle. We're not going to call timeout. No. As Denver calls their second timeout, they have one left. 56 seconds left in this game, which will be a Cleveland Brown victory. And they've gone to blowout. They've gone to blowout formation. So we're going to go to blowout formation. We're going to play our line in. I'm sorry. Our defensive line in. We're going to play a short zone. Base. And Allsweiler 
completes a 17-yard gain, and he goes out of bounds. Vernon Davis. So they're still trying to put points up on the board here with 45 seconds left to go in the game. You know what? They want to play that way. Okay, so we're going to send all three of our linebackers. And we're going to play man. And play our defensive line out. And we're going to play pass. And all out blitz. It's picked up. Oswalder throws. Gain of seven to Vernon Davis. Tackled by Mike Howell. 37 seconds left in the game. Ball on the Cleveland 10, second and three. We're going to play our defensive line out. And we're going to play zone, and we're going to play pass. Osweiler, he dumps it down again to Davis. So it's going to be first and goal from the Cleveland 5, 31 seconds to go here in this game. Play zone. Defensive line in. Pass. Osweiler looking to throw. And there's a throw. Touchdown, Vernon Davis. So Denver scores a touchdown in garbage time. It's now 24-12. to 12. We await the extra point. Or are they going to go for two? They're going... What are they doing here? That is bizarre. Look at... Alright. So, I don't get what they're doing here. Well, we're going to play zone, and we're going to play pass. Here's a throw. They don't convert. Okay, that was really bizarre. I don't like the way the computer did that. <laughs> Where they line up on the 20, and then they rush up to the two-yard line for the conversion or whatever it is. So the two-point conversion failed. We're going to watch for the outside. Here's the outside. We recover it. And Cleveland has the ball with 16 seconds to go, and we are going to go with the kneel down. Victory formation. No play. Ball game over. So... The 1965 Cleveland Browns at home, Municipal Stadium, 24, and the visiting Denver Broncos, 2015-12. Broncos scored a touchdown in garbage time when Brock Osweiler came off the bench and hit Vernon Davis as he marched him down again in garbage time for a touchdown. All right, let's quickly go over some stats before we leave. Let's bring up the box score. Let's see if I can do this right with OBS to show you. Let's bring up a second window capture. Bear with me a moment. And we're going to say, okay. Yay, we did it. Yay. Move that over here. All right. Let's quickly go over the scoring. In the first quarter, the Browns scored first on a Leroy Kelly 72-yard punt return. Grows a kick, made it 7-0. Denver came back in the second quarter with a McManus 33-yard field goal. It was 7-3. Cleveland countered that in the second quarter with a Jim Brown 15-yard touchdown run. Grows a kick. Uh, made it 14-3. to Denver once again countered, but again with a field goal. A 43-yard McManus field goal. And at the half, it was 14-6. to In the third quarter, Cleveland scored on a Groza 39-yard field goal, and that made it 17-6. to Then Cleveland scored on an Ernie Green 3-yard run, Groza extra point basically putting the game out of hand in the fourth quarter, uh, and that made it 24-6. to Denver in garbage time 
Osweiler, five-yard pass to Davis, two-point conversion failed. The game ends 24-12. to um, Team stats quickly. Total dominant, well, yeah, total domination by Cleveland offensively. Cleveland 21 first downs, Denver 14. Cleveland rushed for 220, 252 yards and 45 carries. Denver only rushed for 95 yards and 17 carries. Passing, a lot of the yards came in garbage time for um, Denver, 30, 18 of 33, 184. Cleveland's very conservative passing, 8 of 17, 82 yards, but they did lose their starting quarterback for the end of this game and the next two games. Frank Ryan will be out. Um, Cleveland sacked Denver quarterbacks five times. Cleveland quarterbacks were only sacked once. Uh, time of possession, totally in Cleveland's favor, 38 minutes and 33 seconds. Net offense, Cleveland 325. Net offense, Denver 241. All right, quickly to player stats. And we're just going to really look at Jim Brown. Um, 22 carries, 188 yards. He averaged 8.5 yards a carry. His long was 44 yards, and he had a touchdown. Uh, Ernie Green complimented him beautifully. 17 carries, 61 yards, 3.6 yards a carry. His long was 9 yards, and he had a touchdown. Brown's running game averaged 5.6 yards a carry. Why get away from it? Denver couldn't stop it. So, and I'll just leave this up for a moment if you'd like to read the stats here. We'll quickly go. Manning was 14 to 29, 150 yards, was picked once, had five, was sacked five times, was hurried quite a bit in this game. His quarterback rating was 49.5. And on that note, I will bid you an adieu as we go back to scoring. So in ending, the 1965 Cleveland Browns at home, 24, the visiting 2015 Denver Broncos, 12. Join us again for our next game, which will be the Chicago Bears against somebody. The 1965 Chicago Bears, I believe it's going to be. So, all right. This is our Red Sox fan saying thank you for watching. Health and happiness. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.